Are we rolling? Yes. Okay. This week we're learning about the layers of inner earth. And because you guys can't study, I'm trying to help however I can. All right, next slide, let's do it. There's your vocab for the week. Seismic wave, crust, seismograph, mantle, lithosphere, asthenosphere, outer core, inner core, empirical evidence, and model. You have to know all those words to be good on the next quiz. I left it blank and gave you guys a copy so you can type on the PowerPoint to do your notes and vocab once again. Raise your hand if you've ever seen any of these words. Lithosphere? Yeah, no. What about athenosphere? No. No one's ever heard of that one. That one's special. That one's new. It's in there. All right, next slide. Athenosphere. All right, we'll do that tomorrow. Next slide again. Athenosphere. Okie pokey. Oh, okay. Tell me how we can figure out what's inside the box without opening it. How would you figure out? Celine, shaking it. Yes, that's a good way. But what if it was the size of Earth and we can't shake it? Jump on it. Pull. The layers. You're saying like a cake? I cut into it. Yeah. What if you can't cut into it? You can't open the box. How do I figure out what's inside of it? Wait. Colton again. Wait. need to break it. I don't have time to wait. It's going to waste all the memory in my camera. Are you, are you thinking? Are you just frozen? No, like. Right. A what? But I need to know the real thing. What's inside the real thing? I need to figure it out. How do you figure out? So when I want to figure out what's inside of your body, do I just cut but you how open? Heavy you? How heavy no. You? Yes. You don't figure it out. Yes, you X -ray. do. X-ray. X-ray is a way. We have technology, how right? How heavy it is. Tech so unfortunately, Earth doesn't have bones, and we can't just send an X-ray through it to figure it out. X-rays work on different densities. Um, what else? Yeah. You put a hole in it, and then you put a camera in the hole. Okay, but what if you can only get through a little bit of the cardboard? Then you can't get all the way through. You, you find a bigger weapon. Okay, find a bigger weapon. Has anyone had old enough to have a little brother or a little sister, and your parents got pregnant? What did they use to take pictures of the baby? Ooh, uh, you know what it's called? Uh, ultrasound. Ultrasound. What is an ultrasound? This is my live can't talk during my live. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, what does ultrasound use to take a picture? Uh, child. It's in the word. It's in the word. Sound. Sound. It uses sound. It sends sound waves, and they bounce back, and it gets a reading. That's kind of... Next slide. Next slide. I don't like... Oh, okay. Well, hit hey, one more. One more. We'll go back to this one. Oh, goodness. We'll go back to this. Okay. Right there. So, that's kind of how we figured out. So, I don't know if you've known this, but. Let's see. So, basically, I'll stick on this for a second. We have not even gotten close. I think I've showed you guys. We've only gotten like a quarter of the way through the crust. And the crust is the thinnest layer. So if we can't open the box that is Earth, we had to find other means of figuring it out. So first of all, this is the deepest hole ever built or dug by humans. It's in Russia, because they're crazy like that. Um, the, the deepest active mine where they're digging up stuff. Just as, like the Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world, just to show you how deep. Like the crust is the thinnest, but it's, in reality, it's so thick. This so is what they think the asteroid that killed the dinosaur was this big. Mount Everest is this big. Like it's. That's really We haven't gotten anywhere through the crust. So we have not been able to get through the crust. So what they did was they found out something. So basically, one time, I don't know how long ago it was. No. But there's something called the seismograph. Does anyone know what a seismograph is? No. It's a vocab word. A seismograph is a machine that reads earthquakes. You ever see the little. Thing. 
It measures the vibrations of earthquakes. So when an earthquake happens, they found out they could their seismographs were going off on the other side of the world, which means that the shock waves or the sound waves, the vibrations traveled all the way through the earth. So it can't be hollow. It, the vibrations have to travel through stuff. So that's how they figured out that the earth is like the ogres, right? And the onions. They got layers. Oh, yeah. They got layers. Cakes have layers too. Yeah, cakes have layers too. Okay, everyone likes cakes. Even more so, Anna, they figured out that some layers are thick and solid and some layers are liquid because sound vibrations can't pass through liquid as well as they can solid. So a lot of them stop right here. Does anyone know what this layer is? Oh. Yeah? The, uh, what is it? What's this? This the one? The core. Which one? The inner one. So what's this? The outer core. The outer core the is liquid. It's liquid because the earthquake's vibration waves can't pass through it, these yellow ones. Mm. All right? Okay. So that's one reason how we study the inside of Earth is by the earthquake's vibration. I'm going back to that, so sorry. So this slide talks about how no machine ever can withstand the temperature and pressure. So we've never made it through the crust. All right, Colton? We use other machines to see into the earth, like seismographs, which read the vibrations of earthquakes. Yep. They tell us a little bit about the density of the layers. So it's harder to figure out how thick the layers are, but we at least know that some layers are solid, some layers are liquid. Nothing's hollow inside. There's no hollow. For people that think there's like little aliens and lizards living underneath us, that's not true, okay? Those people are special. We don't call them stupid. Yes, you are. All right. Scientists collect rock samples so that other way, the only other way to figure out what's underneath us is we take the magma and lava that comes up and hardens into rocks. We can study them because they just came from the inside of Earth. So by studying the rocks that just came up, we can at least tell what the inside is made out of. So we know the different types of metal and minerals that the magma and lava magma beneath our feet are made out of. I don't like you staring like that, it's very weird. Alright, next, go forward. I'll tell you when to stop. This is that giant hole, by the way. Go forward. I don't need this. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Okay, I'm trying to make go fast as possible for this thing so I don't waste a little space. There are four main layers. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. They're broken down into sub-layers though, so there's like technically a ton of layers. Okay, hopefully everyone understands what pressure is. Pressure is something pushing on something, just general. The inside of the earth, the further down you go, is there more pressure or less pressure? More. More, because gravity and all the weight of everything on top of you is pushing down further and further and further. So by that logic, which layer would have the most pressure? Inner core, thank you very much. Very good, very good. There we go, it says right there. Also, the, usually the more pressure there is, the more heat there is too. So which layer is the hottest, John? Inner core, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's like similar, like I said, to a swimming pool. The further you go down, the more weight on top of you, the more pressure. Okay. For you guys, after we're done with this, watch the video. And you guys too, whoever the heck is watching. All right, next. All right, so here's all of the layers. Are you ready? There's two types of crust that we're going to talk about. Continental and oceanic. Not the crust that's in your eyes, all right? Continental, we'll go over, is thick with three C's. Ocean crust is thin but it's actually denser than the thick one. We'll go over it in a second. All of the oceanic crust, continental crust, and the upper part of the mantle that's rock solid, rock solid, it's not like magma, no multi, is called the lithosphere. Litho means rock. That's what it means, okay? Very similar to geosphere, which means earth. Okay, now the next layer down, this is all the mantle. All of this, this whole red thing right here is the mantle. But the upper part 
is not solid, but it's not liquid. So it's like a plastic. So it's a crust. And that's called the athenosphere. Now the athenosphere, since it's plastic and like wavy, it basically allows the crust to float on top of a pool, like a pool uh, toy. You know those with lounge chairs on the top of the pool? Floaties. They move no. around? Floaties. No. Floaty, sure, whatever. No, they, they move know. around the top of the water. That's what it's like. The crust is literally floating on top of this magma, sort of. It's not really magma, it's not super solid, it's like kind of in between. What is she doing? Okay. Wait, did you already? Go back, go back, go back, how dare you? And then, outer core, inner core. There's two videos here, go watch them. They're like everything we're learning about in one video, but I put two of them there. There's no reason. Go sit down. Next. Oh, yes, ma'am. So it's probably not perfect, but it all has to do with the seismic waves. There's like so many different seismograph stations around the world that they can kind of figure out which parts are liquid, which parts are solid, and when it changes. But it's probably not perfect. But we know vaguely how thick each layer is. What was your other question? There's a lot of math that goes into it. I mean, like how far it is to the center of Earth. Well, we can figure out the Earth's circumference and diameter, but we know how big Earth is. So if you know how big a circle is, like the diameter across, you can figure out how far it is to the center. That's just simple math of doing a circle. But as far as like how big each layer is, it's all determined based on the earthquakes and seismographs. Other than that, Earth is the inside of Earth is almost impossible to learn about because we can't go there. It's too hot. There's too much pressure. You know that uh, movie? Did anyone ever seen like Journey to the? I don't know. All those are super fake. I don't think, I'm pretty sure there's nothing, no, no machine that could even possibly even get to the mantle. It would all melt and break under pressure. Like, you know, uh, the submarine movies, they go to the bottom of the ocean, they go, like a soda can. Oh, yeah, like, 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 like the, 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 so if you think about that, that's just the bottom of the ocean. You go deeper into Earth, it's even worse and more and more and more. It's like 10 times worse than the bottom of the ocean. It gets more and more and more and more and more and more. Okay, that's it. Let's get the crust. My favorite part. There's two types of crust, just like there's two types of pizzas. New York style pizza, Chicago pizzas. Does anyone know what style, what the difference is between New York and Chicago? New York is, New York is better. Chicago, Chicago has a lot of sauce and has a lot of crust. It's like thick. It's like deep dish, oh, wow. right? What? New York what? style pizza is very thin. The wow. crust is thin. The pizza is thin. It's sort of it's, pause it. I'll fix it later. Good. Yeah. Right, round two. Okay. Two types of crust. One's thin. One's thick. The thick one is the one with land on it. It's super thick because of all the land. All right. The thinner one, the ocean crust, is super thin. It didn't have a chance to grow yet. It's baby crust. All the brand new crust, and we're gonna go over this when we learn plate tectonics this. All of the ocean crust is thinner and younger. The youngest rock is always the ocean rock. Okay? Unless you're right next to a volcano. Yeah. Okay. The ocean floor we learned last chapter is actually made of mostly basalt. Continental crust is always older usually made out of a lot of sedimentary rock. Okay? That's it. All you have to know is that ocean crust is thinner, continental crust is thicker, but because the ocean crust is under the ocean, it soaks up a lot of water, so it's more dense. It weighs more. It's like bloated. Okay? Even though it's thinner, it's all bloated. Yeah, so that's bloated. All right, next. Pokey pokey. We're on the mantle. I'm trying to hurry. The mantle is the thickest with three C's. Did I do three C's? No, I didn't. Okay, the crust is that little line right there. That little line. The mantle is all of this guy. Now, because there's magma in the mantle, which way do hot things go? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. Even magma, some of it's hotter than others. So the magma near the core 
will super hot will rise up and then as it gets close to the surface even though it's not cold it's cooler it'll sink back down what do we call it when hot things rise and cold things fall reagan convection, convection. all right so convection causes magma to swirl around in the mantle which causes the crust on top to want to move it gets dragged along with the movement of magma so that's why we have earthquakes that's why we have volcanoes it's because the magma wants to push up in places and come out and it's also moving the crust ever so slowly if we didn't have that there would be no earthquakes there'd be no new rock there'd be rock there would be nothing new that's scary. so in a way, we need that so we can have new rock that replaces the old rock. We'll learn all about that. This is super important for the next chapter on plate tectonics. Okay? Yes, that one. Um, but the very upper part of the mantle, that's not liquid, it's not magma, but it's not solid. It's like that plastic. It allows it to move and bend. Remember, it's called the... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I thought I had it up here. It's the... As thenosphere. The lithosphere is all the solid parts. It's basically the plates. Next, faster. Like I just said, the convection currents causes the plates to move a little bit and allows magma to come up in the middle where all the baby rock is born. And we'll learn about that next chapter too. John, stop. Next. Well, what did John do? Uh, we're going to skip this one. Next. Remember how I said that the uh, ocean crust is dense because it soaks up all that water? So even though the ocean crust is much thinner than the continental crust, because it weighs so much, when they come together, someone's got to win. And since the ocean crust is heavier, it sinks down. And I, we're gonna learn about this more next chapter. As it sinks down, all this crust melts immediately. And all the water that was in this crust causes the, the lava or magma to shoot straight up. And usually, right when an ocean plate goes down, that's where a volcano is. Almost every single time. And we'll learn about that in two chapters. I don't know why we're doing this chapter so far ahead. All right, next. Lithosphere. Lithosphere is all the solid rocky parts. If it's not solid or rocky, it's not part of the lithosphere. That's just this part up here. The lithosphere is just the rocky solid part. If it starts turning into magma or plastic stuff, no longer lithosphere. Litho means rocky. The athenosphere is where, I should say it, no, maybe? There, this guy. It's right under the lithosphere. It's very small, but it's like a little plastic. And it sort of lets the uh, crust above it ride on top of it, like a pool toy on the water. I like pool toys. I like pool toys too. Okay. The definitions for both of those words are right here. So if you need to go back to them, you can. All right, next. The core. There's two parts, inner and outer. And like we said, the outer core is liquid or solid, Brody. Hard to play games. Liquid or solid? Oh, oh, liquid. It is liquid. See, hard. Wait, wait, why doesn't it say that? Oh, yeah, fluid layer. All right? So the mantle has a lot of magma in it, so part of the mantle is liquid. And then all of this guy is liquid. Because why is the outer core liquid? What causes something to be a liquid instead of a solid? Uh. Melting. Melting. It's hot. It's, it's super hot. hot. The further you go down, the hotter it is. Why are you guys being weird back there? Okay. So this is this is also, there's a next slide on this. This is where they believe because there's so much metal swirling around in this layer, it causes the magnetic field that we have on Earth. So magnets work because of this layer. The inner core is obviously the hottest layer. But Emmy. The inner core is solid. Wouldn't the hottest layer be liquid? Why is the inner core solid even though it's the hottest layer? Nope. Colton. Heat and pressure. The second part. Pressure. 
said. It has so much pressure in the core, it squeezes the atoms and particles back into a solid. So even though it's so hot, the pressure is so high, it turns it back into a solid. Got that? No. Um, both of these are made out of metals, the heavier metals, like nickel and iron. When Earth was first, first being formed, it was all kind of liquid, and the denser, more heavier metals sunk to the middle of Earth with gravity. So the further out you go, the metals are lighter, like silicone and rhyolite and stuff like that. You don't need to know that. But the inner core, you do have to know, is made out of iron and nickel. Iron and nickel. A lot of iron, a lot of nickel, a lot of alloys. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. Also, I guess a fun fact is the Earth's core's temperature is the same temperature as the surface of the sun. Not the inside of the sun. The inside of the sun's way hotter. But the Earth's core is about the same as the sun's surface. So we actually get some heat energy from our core. There's also a, a method of renewable energy called geothermal energy where we use the heat from the Earth to spin turbines to generate energy. All right, next one. This is a lot of writing. I put this on here because it was interesting. You're not really gonna be tested on this, but it's sort of cool to figure out how the core was made in the first place. Um, basically, our planet formed 4.5 billion years ago, and the Earth has been losing heat ever since. Because, say, like your bodies right now, you have heat, right? Constantly, it's radiating out of you. Same for Earth. Earth's energy is constantly radiating out. The only thing that holds it in is the greenhouse effect and the, so the energy we get from the sun. But technically, we're losing heat. It even says after 4.5 billion years, the inside of Earth is still very hot, but we it, it's lost heat. So eventually, we'll keep losing, losing heat, but eventually, the sun will just get so big it swallows. And we'll deal with that in different chapters. Um, Explode. This is more of a fun read. I don't think I'm going to hold you responsible for any of this information. But if you want to know how the Earth's core is hot, what causes the heat, it's all in there. Really? Yep. That's it. The heat inside Earth causes the rock cycle and uh, plate tectonics to move. So it's a very important process on Earth. Convection, as we've learned, is probably one of the most important ideas, the idea of density. All right, next one. I don't know why I have this here. Oh, I just uh, put this on here for temperature so you guys can understand the temperatures of each layer. And it also says solid, liquid, so you guys have an understanding of that. That's so cool. They're pretty, it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Like how hot we talk. Um. Okay, go ahead. Uh, last one. The outer core and the magnetic field, uh, they just think that, like I said, because of the movement of the metals in the outer core, it causes the magnetic field. I'm looking at that. Um, next, is that it? We're done? All right, two more things. Let's just go over the rest of the vocab and on the turn. Empirical evidence, that just means evidence that you collect through investigation, that's it. And you know, convection, a model is a, either a picture, 2D, 3D, representation of something that is too big or too small, so I can show you. Nice. Mantle, lithosphere, thin sphere. Any questions? Nope. End it.